Hey YouTube, what's up? Yeah, welcome to another Dan Permaculture video. All right, in this video, just a, you know, update on what's going on in, in the garden. I know, you know, the our fall garden so far is kind of struggling because we're not getting what? Fall weather. We're still getting this summer 90s, you know, and my seedlings are actually really struggling <laughs> really actually struggling right now you know but i always have a backup plan i always start more seeds you know you could start you know so there's no giving up but right now my seedlings are struggling with the heat you know because i'm growing fall crops you know but we have a 90 something degrees you know so you know that that definitely that's not fall weather and you know there's the there's a lot of plus side to living in florida and growing in florida we're able to grow a lot of tropical plants and we're able to grow you know peaches plums a lot of stuff you guys grow up north as well you know so it's like this is a melting pot uh, uh, we could grow a lot of stuff but we have our struggles you know a lot of people believe so that you can't grow greens at all in florida they give up on it you hear that all the time people give up on growing greens in florida but i know it could be done i've done it but yeah, this this fall so far are quote unquote it's still summer here you know is you know as i said the, the, the struggle is there you know but so let's let's i'm gonna just show you a few things that's going on yeah and let's check it out all right let's go all right before we do anything else let's let me just show you this is one of the backup plans yeah it's starting more seed you, know, you remember a seed pack come with hundreds of seeds so you could always start seeds over so i got my backup brassicas here it's a little bit dry or water that so let's see what's going on here so in this room we got some karabi going on here orac i don't know why i chose it i was just trying something you know the seedlings are really is struggling right there got some kale here Morris head in collards, cabbage collards, purple mustards right here. Yeah. And I don't remember the labels. I think these are collards too. Kales. I think this is kale. Yeah. And some other stuff is right here too. So this is like a backup plan for what is taking place in the garden. And the weather just won't give us a break. It's just been hot right here to another backup plan i think there's some more mustards here and kale there's all brassicas here that's here these seedlings are not i know there, there's these are marigolds here yeah these are kale again I think these are squash these are lettuce right here yeah but these are not looking too bad here because it's, it's under like a little a little shade so far but it's still hot yeah so they're still suffering but the ones in the garden i think is suffering even more so let's, let's walk over here so if you look over here these are seedlings and they look like they look look at the seedlings they're just like they the heat is just taking a toll on them so I can't wait for it to just just cool down that the garden could just kick up. I know once it cools down, it's gonna just be growing non-stop. Yeah. These over here is a little bit better on this side. I don't know why, but you know, these are looking a lot better over here. Yeah. Yep. And let's go over here is some radishes so radishes over here i think there's daikon radish daikon radish over here and some some other radishes 
you know, I'm going to be setting up another container with to plant some more radishes. You know, radish is a quick turnaround crop. But we get in this heat. The heat is just defeating the purpose at this moment. Even the leeks, like they're just suffering <laughs> right now. You know, got weed right there. Uh, take out that more weed. There's some squash here. Yep. Yeah, so if you look here, even tomatoes, you can see they they like sunburn, burnt, burnt. It's, it's definitely too hot. Even these can't can't manage this kind of heat. Yep, same thing here. So that's just a quick update on the 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 fall garden. All right. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's what's going on in the garden regarding the fall fall you're not growing the fall crops you know so each day i'm I, you know i'm like checking the weather forecast every day every week to see what's ahead and this week is still we're gonna have extreme high 80s like 88 to 91 degrees and you know, the evenings are in the is 74 degrees, which that's typical. Even in the summertime, our evenings are 74 degrees. So nothing, the 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 weather haven't changed here yet, you know. So that's the, you know, that's the delay with the fall garden, yeah. You know? So I'm just waiting. It's like a waiting waiting game right now with Mother Nature, you know. To see when. You know, and Mother Nature decide to say, okay, you know what, we're gonna cool down now and give you the time to, you know, to start growing your fall crops. You know, so in in Florida, we we you know we could grow a lot of stuff, but we still have our struggles. You know, and yeah, you know, I know a lot of times you see all the uh, the great stuff, and you know, there's a lot of stuff still growing and looking good. You know, like harvesting papayas, like. Every day I'm picking the right pa 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 for my breakfast, you know, like uh, I love I My daily routine of eating is like a, you know, I eat fruits in 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 like about 11 o'clock You know, cause I don't, my first meal is at 11 o'clock in the in the in the morning It would be a bowl of fruits, but it's you know And any fruits mainly but this week so far it's just been right papaya off the tree So I come out peel up get a papaya cut it up in a big bowl and and that's my that's my meal and my next meal is maybe about like three o'clock and then next one is maybe six seven o'clock dinner time you know so but so the, the you know and that's one of the good thing you grow so much different stuff you always have something to turn to you know so there's no really disappointment you know it's just i'm really excited to start growing the 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 brassicas you know the kale the collards and stuff like that you know, hopefully maybe another week or two car brassicas grow fast so you know keep our finger crossed that the weather pattern change and you know able to 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 grow some stuff all right so thank you so much for watching have a great Evening.